Hello, hello. This uh, time out, I'm going to be talking about a book called Our Philosopher by Gert Hoffman. Now, it was written in 1986, but it could, belongs to what I would sort of call a subgenre of German literature uh, that deals with the period uh, between the wars, the 1920s, 1930s. You could call it the before the fall genre. And uh, these novels chart the decay of the Weimar Republic and the rise of Nazism and the persecution of uh, Jews in particular and everyone else, uh, depending on your religion, politics, sexuality, and so on and so forth. Um, some of the authors who've written uh, in, this, uh, in this field are Ulrich Boschwitz, uh, someone whose name I'm about to mispronounce, I'm sure, Leon Fucht Weinger, uh, Eric Kastner, Irmgard Kuhn, and you could even throw an English writer in there named Sarah Gainham. Um, our philosopher um, approaches this, uh, the, the horrors of, uh, of the Nazi, the, the run-up to World War II, at an oblique angle. Um, so if you enjoyed or were interested in the, movie, the film Zone of Interest, uh, which also takes a look at the Holocaust from an oblique angle. Uh, this, uh, this novel would probably appeal to you. It's about, uh, it's set in a small town in 1938. The philosopher in question is an elderly Jewish man who's retired to live in this town. And his doctor has two small children, Hans and Gretel. Yes, Hansel and Gretel. Um, there's a certain uh, playfulness, dark humor in uh, the novel uh, that, he, that he gives his two child characters these names. And the story is told through Hans's eyes and to a degree his sisters because they ask innocent questions about all of the things that start happening to the philosopher. Uh, Herr Veld, uh, Veldfeld, I'm, I'm screwing that name up too, undoubtedly. Um, and what we witness is the, over a course of months, is his persecution and eventual death. Um, it's told, because it's told through a child's eyes, through their questions to adults and their observations, there are no explicit discussions of things like, uh, there, there's not even the mention of the word Jew or pogrom or Nazis, uh, nothing like that. Because from their point of view, it's just a mystery uh, a fairy tale, sort of, of what is happening to this man, why his rights are being taken away, uh, why he's beaten up, why hooligans throw rocks through his window. And in it, we see the essential absurdity, the, the vileness, uh, the creeping horror, um, and also we see uh, uh, there's a psychological horror component to it in that uh, our professor um, keeps hoping if he follows the rules and, and or simply ignores what's happening, things will improve or they'll forget. But we know that wasn't the case. Um, the literary style is uh, intriguing, uh, the way he structures his sentences uh, to... Uh, sort of underline the fact that this is from a child's point of view. Um, it's short, uh, it's very powerful, and uh, I really encourage you to check out uh, some of those other authors as I mentioned and their titles. And in the description uh, below, I shall put uh, the names of the authors, and maybe you can take a stab at pronouncing them correctly, and also uh, the titles which belong to this uh, particular genre. So, yes, that's again, that's our philosopher, Gert Hoffman. And my usual ad at the end of my videos for my own book, Skeleton Palms, a noir thriller mystery. And it's dark, it's violet, set in California, Nevada. And uh, I like it very much. Maybe you will. Thanks. Bye.